What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Marvel character today, Superior Iron Man, right? So it's kind of, it's from a cover, so he's kind of like sitting on a couch with his, he's looking all confident, his arms hanging over. So kind of like half his body, right? So his head is up here in the top half of my page, so I will have to zoom in. Some people kind of don't like zooming in because they can't get scale, but his face is so small, it's like right up here, I kind of have to, for you to be able to see what's going on. So... I'll start with the eyebrows, right? So you can kind of get a little bit of sense of how big things are, and then I'll zoom in. So pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast, let's go. Let's rock. So eyebrows, right? Center point, my page here, up in the middle, we're gonna start with the eyebrows here. So he's kind of frowning quite heavily, right? So we'll go just a curved line kind of up. Across this way. Right, like that. And you want to thicken them up. They're just they're kind of just black in in this. So we'll thicken them up and we're gonna add like a little spike up the top because it's like marvel, so they they like to do that. So we're thickening them up. And then they add this like spike up here. Bring this down this way. Like a bit of his eyebrow kind of sticking off there. Then we go over to the other side, do the same thing. It's always difficult doing these small ones, make him so he's frowning. Here, maybe a frown line and stuff. We do the same thing. So I'll thicken it up. Right, so this is just give you an idea how big things are. And then we'll add this spike up here. Right, kind of like that. Okay, so I'll zoom in now just so we can get the rest of the details, but that's kind of the size we're dealing with, okay? So I'll zoom in now. So the eyes, right? So they, they're touching sort of his eyebrows, right? So they kind of come out from here. Get a line out this way. It's kind of eyelash, top eyelid line. Comes out there. And then we bring it down. here and then out from the tear duct on the other side so so like in say here just like a little line going that way sometimes you can bring them together or you can leave a gap I think I'll leave a gap on this one I think it looks better with a gap okay so he's like frowning heavily so he's like looking up at us okay so we'll go how big will I do his iris? Yeah, so we'll go kind of small. So we'll go. Half circle. Around like that. And then his pupil. Sort of up the top as well. And his eyes are like glowing blue, so it looks pretty intense. Right, like so. And then we'll go over to the other side, do the same thing roughly. So we'll just go across here from the eyebrow. Like that again. And then we will go diagonal down this way. top eyelid and then the pupil and the tear duct and stuff so this comes across the other way and 
I believe the gap there. The middle of that is iris, half circle. Underneath and the pupil just here. Doesn't have eyelid lines, but I'll give him like just a little line up here, maybe. And there. And he does kind of have bags around his eyes. You know, he's a hard worker, Tony Stark. So he's got these lines just around his eye. Like so. So that's what we're dealing with with eyes and Marvel characters and stuff. Especially because this is from a comic, so. Okay, so then for his nose, right, we'll just add a little section of the bridge of his nose just here coming down. Pretty straight, right? Like that. Then we're going to leave a bit of a gap and we'll just go down and do... He's got a quite a pointy nose, so that comes down around here, back up. And then we have the nostrils on the side, so they are drawn in, right? So they go... around there and he could have like some lines just on the tip of his nose here all right so that's kind of what we're working with for his nose all right and then his mouth so he's he's got quite a serious mouth he's got a mustache under his nose but we'll just get the, the line for his mouth in first. So it kind of like comes across this way. Down and towards the middle. There's a bit of a gap. And then down that side. So he's looking quite serious. And then the bottom lip line just underneath. Comes across flat and up that way. You might have a little shadow or something just underneath there. So his chin, right, it's, he's got that thing around his face, but his chin is just like down here. A square sort of chin. So like roughly speaking, proportion wise, eyes to the nose is about the same as nose to the chin. So here to here, about the same as here to here. And then nose to like just under the bottom lip here is about the same as bottom lip to the chin, under the bottom lip to the chin, right? That shadow here to here, about the same as here to here, okay? So that's kind of proportions. So his jaw then, right? So we'll go, we'll just get the shape for his face and then we'll add the details like his mustache and stuff. So the jaw comes up the side and you're stopping about mouth level and like underneath the eyes there, right? That's where it kind of changes direction. So we go up this way. Like so, same on the other side. And it does kind of bulge out a little bit up at the top. So it goes out and up again. We do the same kind of here, it goes out. Out here and up towards the side of his hair, or something here. So then this has an inside part, right? So we've got this sort of V that points down towards his nose, just here in the middle. Okay, and this will go all the way around on the inside. So it's a particular kind of shape. So it'll go around to the corner here on both sides like that right and then this comes down and in onto his cheek around the eyes like there and then it'll go down again by the jaw kind of like magneto or something and then this goes in here and then there's a bit that kind of sits up onto his chin as well so it goes around 
like that, okay? And then he has a blue light here on his chin. Okay, so his mustache then comes out from his nose, Tony Stark, just a black mustache comes out this way. Comes down here, a little bit of a spike up there. Comes out from underneath the nose. And you could do it like a hairy line if you wanted, but. It's just a black line in this, right? So it goes out there and we gotta thicken it up, right? So it goes across his top lip as well. So we'll bring it sort of around here. It's kind of thin here. Goes around and down. Maybe just up on his top lip there and then down this way around the other side. All right, now I'll just color this black. So then, so he's got like some lines just going down on the side of his nose here. And it seems like some cheekbone lines or something just in here as well. Like so. And then you can just tidy stuff up before we move on. Add whatever you think. So, he's got um, ear cups, I think, covering his ears, but we've we got to draw his hair kind of first, right? So, one across here, so we've got some like hair just kind of sticking out, hair spikes kind of, that will go around his head, around that way, and then a fringe that kind of comes out from here and down. Now, if you go over any lines, because it does go over, some lines that we've drawn already, you can just erase them or color over them. And he has a part in his hair here, so it's useful to sometimes draw this. Sort of the hair going different directions, just there, and then like texture lines and stuff going that way. And then more hair spikes just over here coming off his head. Short, kind of dark black hair. And then it'll eventually go around the top, kind of up here. And again, we have a part in his head, sort of here somewhere. And the rest of the hair goes down the other side. And you can add as much of that texture as you want. Going on down his head that way and then the opposite direction over here. And he seems to have an arrow or something pointing this way. Right, so now those ear cones or cups that kind of cover his ears just stick out here go up underneath his hair, up under here somewhere, on his jaw. Okay, so that's his face, so now we can zoom out and start doing some of his body. So his neck comes down from his jaw here, and he is sitting in kind of like a chair, so he's like leaning back, right? So his neck is like there. And then this has like some wings or something that kind of stick out here and down around the neck on the other side as well. Around like that. And then these come down this way. Down that way. There is all lines and details and stuff, but we'll just try and get the main sort of shapes in and then we can add more detail to it. 
so I guess we'll do it like plate by plate. So, right, so there's like, this is like a plate on its own that comes back in, down, it goes around, down, and then this goes around his arc reactor in his chest. So this is just like circular around here. And then we have another circle inside for the blue glowing reactor in his chest. Now you have chest plates that come down here, right? So both sides. And in Superior Iron Man, it seems like everything's kind of like smooth. So there's like lots of smooth lines and not a lot of angles. It's like just drawn in real sleek kind of. So the chest armor comes up the side here. So then this meets shoulder armor, so this goes into here. And then this seems to, well, same on this side, so we'll go there, comes up to here. And then this eventually comes around for his shoulder, so same here. This one needs like another line there. So there's a shoulder plate here. Loop around and back in towards the chest. Kind of the way chest muscles work anyway in a human. So your deltoid sort of touches your pectoral muscle. And then smaller sort of shape over here, but similar still. So in under here, his arms come out this way and we can just draw sort of the, it's kind of like, it's got a bit of curvature to it, but it's mostly straight. So we can just go out there, right? We do the same over this side. A little bit different, but we just go, kind of, this one kind of bumps a little bit. All right, but roughly the same. And then his body, We'll go down this way, so we'll just get that in, just so we kind of know. And it bumps because there's plates and things, right? So two sort of bumping lines there. Another one here, and then this will go down. So he's like sitting on a couch and his leg comes across, but I'm not going to put the leg in, I can't really fit it. So this like goes in a plate in this way. The plate in here, and then there's like his hips kind of go out that way somewhere, like that, right? So that's the shape for his torso. So then we go out here and we'll do the hands, and then we'll add like all the detail inside. So we go pumping here, there's like all these plates on top of his arm, pumping out that way, and then his arm hangs down here, right? But we'll just I'll add the plates on this side. And then two hands hanging. Well, one hanging, this one's like slightly more up. And it's foreshortened, so it's like coming out towards us. So, let's see. So we'll just go, we'll get the main shape. So we'll go Four shortened arms, so go. So we just go around. Like so, right? And the hand is real big hanging down here. And we got like fingers and all that good stuff down here, right? So the hand shape. Comes down this way, right? So I guess we'll just, we'll focus on the hands for a second. So and try and get them done because they're kind of complicated. So coming across, we've got like a couple of plates, right? So we've, he's got like a big wrist plate just here. Like an angled sort of 
shape like that. And then each knuckle has like an armor plate on it as well. So, so if we imagine they're like gloves, kind of just metal gloves, right? So each of these has this kind of diamond shaped or jewel shaped knuckle duster kind of thing. And each one of these represents one of his knuckles. Right, so four of them coming across the top of his hand, right? So if we imagine this was a glove, right? So the glove would go in here, just into his wrist, right? Just, it's like another little line here, right? And then there's fingers that kind of curl down around here, okay? So little finger carving that way and there's more lines on this as well but let me just do it this way first ring finger here this comes down around there and then we go up side into there and then his thumb I think sticks out here and you should have like the back of the thumb or something here too now so there's all there's more detail lines on these as well so like these curved lines underneath finger down here like these curved lines on his knuckles or something and then more lines up here more sort of armor on his fingers kind of carving around down underneath around again this right and it's kind of like a double line that has more stuff inside kind of like dark gray okay so then at the back of his hand we've got like all this armor and stuff going back this way right so and these all go around the arm and they follow the shape and then this goes up. Like that. And then we have consecutive lines. So they kind of follow it again. So you just go around again, right? that and then a couple more up here not as many but like so and then there's there is a blue light or something in here as well so it's like all blue in here and then down this side as well so you just draw a little space that you can like add some blue color to if you're coloring of course Right, so now we got to do another hand. So they're tricky, these hands. There's a lot of detail in them. So this one sort of hangs down a little bit more. So it's kind of goes longer than this one. Let me get a different marker. Let's 
So let's see. So we'll go. This way and down. And go around right to the edge of my page there. Might go a little bit further. Go in to there. And then this hand hangs down real long. And kind of like this one, there's like this diamond sort of shape or five sided angled sort of shape on top of his wrist. Just there, so it gives you an idea where the hand will start. Okay, so like that, then it's like a glove, so it comes out there, and the thumb will be out here somewhere. Just comes down, and then again, we have four sort of knuckle duster things coming across this way. So we go. All right, and then his fingers come down from each of these, right? So, and they hang along these ones, so they come down like so, and then we'll just bring it around. Back up into there, and so it's like his index, and then this one comes down and around again. And we have all those sort of lines like that one as well. We just get the main sort of shapes in to there, and then we'll bring it around. Down for his ring finger. And then his little finger's kind of hiding in behind here. That and then his thumb just like sticks out here and then it comes out down. Hang in there. And then there's all these detail lines on this, right? So we got that sort of gray, gray lines coming across his knuckles. There, and then some more sort of movable sort of knuckle lines that help his fingers move, obviously, when he bends his fingers. And then some on the thumb, sort of knuckle area there and then coming down this way there and then we have the lines like this on this part of his hand so we got a big one that comes around here like that and then underneath to there And then we just follow those lines, right? So you do the same thing again. Up, down. Cross, up, down, right? And then just do that like three or four more times. So, and then another big one around here, 
And this will have some like blue lights on them. So this goes up. Down. Down this way. Down to here. And to add the blue light, you just you just kind of add some extra sections just around here. It's just an area they can color blue around his arm. Okay, now more armor plating inside his arm. So say like here, another sort of arm plate comes across there. I'll move a little bit faster now because we've got the main shapes in. So the rest is just kind of breaking it all up. Right, so look at this. Give me a little line there. There's something else there. And then these are all sections of armor as well. Just kind of break them up into parts. Give them an edge line or something. Yeah, like that. And then there's another thing sort of here. Like that. Right. I'll just move over to the other arm and do pretty much the same thing. So just break up the arm. Armor on this side. Extra lines going that way. Some others inside here. So, and then this goes around. He's got like another blue sort of area on his shoulder here. And something else on this one. You can actually see a bit more of this one. So it goes around like this. All right, I think that's all for his arms anyway. And right, so uh, sort of armor down here. So we'll go, we'll just go down this way. It's kind of like abs. Go like this and in, and then up to here. And then ab lines to come across or armor plates that come across. That one curves, but these ones point for some reason. So they go, I would have done them all curvy, but hey. I'm sure the designers at Marvel know what they're doing <laughs> better than me. Yeah. Um, so then, another armor plate here. Uh, this one, yeah, the second there. There. Like that, and then more, break it up inside here, more lines. Like that, and this is like a hip bone or something going that way. And he's got a blue light there, blue light here, and a hip bone here, a hip plate, not a bone really. Plate, plate, and then more. Another armor that way. Who is excited if Tom Cruise played Superior Iron Man in like the multiverse? That'd be so good. Or bring back Robert Downey, how about that? That's right, I said it. You can do anything in the multiverse. This is why it's so genius. 
as like a business thing. Um, and then he has blue lights inside here. So not many of them. So we'll go one, two, three, right? And then this is a light. This is a light. This is a light. And then there's like a light there. And we'll do same on the other side. So that way. You can see a bit more of them for some reason on this side. I always find it interesting when artists like, you know, can like sort of there, light, light. You know, why didn't he do that on this side as well? I know I sound like a critic, but I just find it curious. Okay. Um. So that I can erase these after making any mistakes and stuff. He, I forgot lines on his neck, and then we're pretty much done. So let's see. So we'll go just kind of just these necklines that kind of follow this shape again. That's it. And like, if you want, just add some texture just here on this couch, just to show, like it goes out from his elbow, sort of there somewhere, but we can't really see it. So you can just add some texture lines, you know, just like. And if you want thickening up your edge lines, sometimes helps, so like darkening up. All right, but I think that's the best I can do anyway, guys. Hope it was helpful. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.